few weeks back I was um, having a discussion in the Autodesk beta forum about how annoying Inventor sketch constraints can be, coincident constraints can be to edit and delete. So <coughs> quite often it's hard to tell which ones are gonna um, in this are gonna break off the geometry and which ones aren't, um, or they're buried underneath other const um, coincident constraints. So it's really hard to grab hold of them and and press delete. An Autodesk employee um, let us all know that if you highlight a section of a piece of geometry, right click and then select delete coincident constraint, it will actually detach the constraint at the end <coughs> of the half of the element that you select. And it works on lines, curves, so if I do that at the other end here, it's now detached it at this end instead and it also works on splines so now you can see this end here has just come off the end of that rectangle so that's a pretty handy tip to to know about for um, working with sketches in Inventor <coughs>